Oh, yeah, look at that. It's already a DLC button down here. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Free Kingdoms Total War. I've been waiting for this uh, not that long, actually, because I've already had it early access for a while, but I thought I'd wait until release to actually give you guys some gameplay on it so that, you know, you could all play, play along with me, kind of. I also don't like to be hampered by things like review embargoes and stuff like that because I kind of like to speak my mind. And this is Free Kingdoms Total War, which is essentially a Chinese battle royale, but don't worry, it's not the first Chinese battle royale and it's definitely not going to be the last one. So if you're new to this scenario of the uh, the Free Kingdoms or whatnot, Oversimplified actually did a very good video actually explaining the whole thing. So we have a whole selection of different people we can play. Players, uh, specific warlords and rulers that we can do. We also, I'm pretty sure we have the yellow turbans up here, which uh, they're all very hard, so maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe we should actually learn how to play the game first. We also have some governors and outlaws like Lu Bao, who is a gentleman of the Han, tips Fedora. Right, so I think if we're starting off here, it's got to be between Sao Sao, Lu Bei, and Sun Jian. I'm not entirely sure which one I'm going to do, so I'm just going to move the mouse back and forward like this and just click. And we're playing Sao Sao! So this screen is actually pretty cool. It gives you a little interesting little tidbit about who you're actually playing as and actually shows you on the map of where they are. And as you can see, it actually looks like the map is uh, is pretty big. Also, uh, speaking of Battle Royale China, uh, there's actually still Taiwan over here. If you if you didn't know, uh, China's still kind of in their own Battle Royale with Taiwan right now, except Taiwan just glitched outside of the map and now China can't get to them. But we also get the option if you want to play with the new Romance mode or the, uh, the old Total War experience, which generals ride with, you know, their bodyguards, but this, I think they're actually individual, so we're obviously going to try the new one and just give it a go, see if we like it, and if we don't, I, I'm never going to use this mode ever again, obviously, duh. Oh, wait, so I just realised I can incite proxy wars. Uh, <laughs> are we in the Cold War already? Are in China! Immediately, gotta say, I much prefer this over Thrones of Britannia for the map alone. It feels big, but it also doesn't feel like I'm incredibly cramped. So welcome, everybody, to Three Kingdoms Total War, and obviously, if you if you're new around here and you want to see more Total War stuff, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and let me know down below which Battle Royale game you want to see next. <laughs> a big interesting mechanic in this game is that you actually have more than one general. I'd say officer, really. So we have, uh, obviously, our general right here. Then we have an officer who also has some troops. So we're going to straight away get into a battle with this guy right here and see how it plays. I you smell that? That's the smell of a brand new Total War game. And there are battles to be explored. I hope that it does look like my guys are are using the tops of wicker baskets for shields, but I guess it's better than nothing. Dungarees? What? what the hell? So yeah, if you look over here now, our generals are actually just individual units, which is pretty... That's... Hold on. You're wearing a box on your head. I gotta say, it's a, it's a pretty pimp-tastic hat. This guy is the pimp of the Chinese ancient world. So generals actually have special abilities now, unlike the old ones, which were just rally and stuff like that. So now... I've I, I've been challenged to a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. Holy moly! Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, how are you still alive after that? It's actually pretty intense. I gotta say, my my poor officer is he's doing his best, but I should probably actually uh, take part in the rest of the fight, shouldn't I? Oh wait, never mind. Uh, yeah, I just killed him. He's dead on the floor. Nice one, dude. We did it. You should probably probably get out of there though. Let's let's leave. Let's let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> literally just sent this guy to the shadow realm. <laughs> hey, the good thing is the rest of his army saw me uh, absolutely shrek that guy's general and now they're they're not doing too well. The good thing I found is that it looks like they've actually standardized the units which um I guess if you're not if you're more into it for the historical flavor of actually seeing them it's probably not the best but if you're just like me and you just want to know what the hell each one of them is I, I gotta say I much prefer this over like Rome Total Wars one which I had no idea idea which one was which. But now that we've figured out the basics of combat, we've actually got to go ahead and figure out where we are in the world. And if you can't tell, uh, all this red around me uh, is, is everyone I'm at war with. Um, so we, we should probably, <laughs> I don't know, deal with that. Well, the fact I am throwing like Molotov cocktails on it, and it does does seem a bit overkill. But you know what? We're going to we're gonna take Chen and then we're going to move to the rest of China. So I just realized is that my general is essentially just a tank. Uh, just, just Watch and see what happens when I charge him into the enemy. Yep. There you go. That's 
that's just a nice line through them. A little bit OP, but <laughs> he's, he's literally just stomping on them. Riffic victory? Oh, he already said Pyrrhic. Pyrrhic victory. Uh, yeah, I lost um, <laughs> like half my forces, but to be fair, they had double the amount and they lost uh, way more. But um, we're going to recruit them just because of the 14% replenishment. We're, we're obviously gonna need it. There you go, that's our first province we have officially taken and uh, don't worry guys, it's China, there is two billion more to get. So this is our general screen where we can give good old Cao Cao a bunch of brand new guys to follow him round and tell him how amazing he is. But we also have our reforms which I'm assuming by the looks of them are actually just technology and honestly just looking at this massive tree right now, where the hell do I start? Register of land and population, that sounds very authoritarian and, and thus very Chinese, so I think we'll go ahead and get that one. Ah, oh, Lu Day has turned up in my court, and he wants to do a bit of trading, which, uh, yeah, that sounds good. I don't know what we're trading. Uh, hopefully no opium, or is it a bit too early for that? I guess something called a Tiger and Leopard Cavalry, which uh, it costs a lot, and I'm, I'm kind of wondering why it costs a lot. I, ca I kind of want to get that. Uh, Yuan Chao, who is a hubristic warlord, wants me to get in their coalition and they expect me to make payments on, on that. I don't know if I'm, I'm ready to really join a coalition just, just yet. Please don't invade me. Uh-oh, it's Dong Zhao. I don't, I don't know if I want to be a vassal to Dong Zhao. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a no from me, buddy. Uh, well, Zhao Zhao is having a bit of a fun time so much that he started whipping the boys. I don't know if that's gonna really help us right now, Mr. Zhao Zhao. Oh, wait. He's dead! Okay, so this is a little ridiculous. Uh, I lost like an entire army, just a small one. And uh, I managed to beat the rest of them with um, just my single unit so far. Uh, I've just been running back and forward and running back into them. And don't be worried just because these are just archers. Uh, they had spearmen, swordsmen, and just all sorts of other guys. I also uh, completely decimated <laughs> with just one guy on a horse so far. <laughs> I just keep walking a bit that way, then I run back and do my charge ability, and, and they, they can't really, um, they can't really do anything to stop me at the moment. Yep, there, there you go, the, the enemies run once again. So it's just me and their other general left now, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Can I do the exact same thing to him? <laughs> the answer to that question was yes! <laughs> yes, I can do that! I just beat their entire army with one guy. One single guy! I even killed the general! <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a little bit dumb. Okay, that, that was a little bit dumb. 841 guys, and my general killed 325 of them. <laughs> oh, I can just give my general a giant clay warrior statue. Um, I, I'm assuming whoever is the unlucky soul that needs to drag this around with me everywhere I move is um, going to be looking forward to that one. Pig. Oh, I know. It's just a, it's just a clay pig. Sorry, I thought I was actually a bit... Wait, isn't it even weirder that I'm bringing around a clay pig and not just a real pig? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I was just having a casual little duel here. I just realised that my enemy, though, does have a massive arrow sticking out of him. So I feel like... If... Oh, never mind. I just chopped it off for him. There you go. But he's just helping each other out. Oh, Jesus Christ! Throwing Molotov cocktails at open gates to hitting closed gates at a medal with our swords. Although, I, I don't think half of you are even hitting the door. You're just attacking each other. Ah, oh, disease has spread amongst the men. And even now, falls. Uh, hold on a second. I can launch biological warfare against my- Yeah, baby! The thing I've noticed with coalitions is that all the people in them will just constantly uh, pay me to join wars against people that are so far away I never have to worry about. Although I say that right now, um... Kong wrong, you, you pest, pest not screw me over here. And then once they get bored of not fighting me, these nations that I get called into war in, they, they also pay me to have peace with them. So you know what, sure thing buddy. I'm out of clay animals to give my generals at this point. So I'm really sorry, Sawang. Uh, you're just gonna have to not kill me hopefully because I don't have a clay ox to give you. These guys have got crossbows, jeez. That's something Europeans won't be able to figure out for a little bit longer. Fortunately, your ingenious idea of requiring not a lot of skill to actually pull back a bow and arrow uh, doesn't actually outnumber the fact I have men on horses that are gonna run you over. You never guess what? Wooden dog! Relationship deepens greatly between Sao Sao and Sao Hang. <laughs> oh, what a man of a do. Bit of the issue that I'm having currently 
is that I go down like say here to deal with some enemies and then uh, some guys up here declare war on me. So I need to, I've got two armies at the moment but it is becoming a little bit of a hassle obviously because I'm, I'm, I'm getting overstretched just a little bit with my giant sausage empire here. Thankfully my, for my uh, coalition though, it's actually blocking off a whole bunch of the north up here. See all the green is friendly and all these red bits over here, these dark red bits are people I'm at war with and these are people that just uh, don't like me in the lighter red bits. <laughs> For a second now, I just read her name as Lady Brian. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> for today, actually. We, we've done quite a bit in the game. Uh, I haven't even touched the surface of it by any shot, but I don't want to go too far into the game and show anything that you guys might not have experienced yet because the game is new, obviously. But I hope, nonetheless, you enjoyed this video. You leave a like at the subscribe button down below and let me know if you want to see more free kingdoms. So like I mentioned in a past video, if you've made it this far through the video, um, uh, I'm trying to sell as much of my merch off as possible so I can go ahead and get some new stuff in because I do have some new merch ideas which I think you guys are going to like but I kind of need to shift all the old stuff so if you are interested in buying some merch, link in the description, feel free to go ahead and pick yourself up, it greatly helps the channel obviously because extra money in my pocket means it's extra money to buy all the DLC free kingdoms. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and if you do buy some merch, uh, feel free to tweet me on Twitter with your order number, and you can get a special rank in my Discord, and I guess if you're banned, I'll unban you, but uh, no promises there, but uh, until next time guys, I will catch you around. Bye-bye!